Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology and I find that this is the most appropriate forum to introduce the institute. It is a new institute and being the director of the institute, it is my responsibility also to introduce the institute wherever uh, I get such opportunity. Rajiv Gandhi Institute of Petroleum Technology, uh, we call it RGIPT, uh, has, was established by an act of parliament and it has been given the status of institution of national importance. Uh, just on the line of IITs, IIM, uh, etc. The mandate is to work in the area or around the area of energy sector. So as I said that RGIPT has been established by Government of India and given the status of institution of national importance. Though the institute was established, act was passed in 2007, some activity started but our new building came up in 2016-17 only. So in fact our uh, activity, uh, research activity etc. started 2016 and it is seven year old institute only. And uh, our mandate is to work around energy sector. And the only difference with IITs is that we are governed through Ministry of Petroleum. IITs are governed through Ministry of Education. We do admit students through JE Advance, as IITs do. And our all act and uh, statutes are same as, uh, as that of IIT. Earlier we had two degree programs, uh, one is chemical engineering and the petroleum engineering and one management also. But as the ministry and the, uh, seeing the need, the ministry itself has diversified through renewable energy, etc., etc. So we have also diversified to uh, other degrees, mini uh, renewable energy, we take in renewable energy. Now seeing the need of computer science, there is a big uh, digitalization etc are required so we have computer science also e-vehicle uh, b-tech in e-vehicle technology and recently we have started b-tech in petrochemicals and polymers seeing that all the refineries are now uh, diversifying to petrochemical sector so this year we have started b-tech in petroleum petrochemical and uh, polymers our objective of the institute is to develop human resource for future and also do cutting edge research and provide consultancy as well and those things we are doing the institute is established at a place called Jayas which is near Amethi Amethi is a very popular place you know that uh, it was uh, represented by late Rajiv Gandhi ji and then by Rahul Gandhi and currently by Smriti Irani. So Amethi is well known. It is 100 kilometers from Lucknow. And we have certain identified thrust areas of research. It includes uh, enhanced oil recovery, analysis of seismic data, uh, then process development, renewable energy, including hydrogen energy. And I am happy to say that in Hydrogen energy, we collaborate with uh, NTPC uh, and we are developing electrolyzers which can take seawater directly. And we have considerable success. We have um, uh, applied for patents also and this progress, this project is going on. Then we, we have thrust area, corrosion science and we are doing couple of projects for o Indian Isle and ONGC as well. And then waste utilization is also one of the thrust area and zero recycle, then digitalization. Uh, then we also work in the area of e-vehicle technology, solar thermal, solar photovoltaic, then drone technology. Uh, these are the, and I have, uh, uh, I have prepared one leaflet especially for this symposium and it is there in your registration kit which will give you other details about the semi uh, about the institute now uh, apart from the institute which is at jayasamethi act also empowers us to open centers 
anywhere in the country or outside the country. Outside the country, we do not have any center as of yet. But we have two centers. One is at Assam, uh, at a place called Siv Sagar, where we uh, have diploma programs and PhD as well. Diploma programs, there are uh, chemical engineering, petroleum engineering, in mechanical engineering, in electronics engineering, and fire and safety. Uh, these are the diploma programs run uh, at, till now the admission was only for Assam region, only for Assam state, but from this uh, session we are opening it for the whole northeast state. And the students cater to the need of oil and gas sector, which are plenty there in the northeast region. Then uh, ministry advised us to open a center at Bangalore also. So we have, uh, ministry has provided us around 150 acre of land in uh, Hoskote area and uh, we are building construction are under progress and uh, uh, we hope that we will be in our campus by end of next year. Presently we are running the campus from uh, some rented building and there we run MTech programs, four MTech programs, renewable energy, e-vehicle technology, uh, MTech in AIML and MTech in data science and we have PhD. The focus of Bangalore Center is to, to do translational research, to do innovation incubation types of activities seeing the ecosystem of Bangalore. And in the Bangalore, we are in the process of developing four uh, major laboratories. Uh, one is in the renewable, to provide complete solution for renewable energy. Yokogawa, a Japanese company has shown interest and we will s soon tie up with Yokogawa to develop a laboratory and to provide complete energy solution for renewable energy. The second uh, laboratory which will be uh, established, it is partly established, uh, we will further uh, strengthen the facilities there. That will be the drone image processing laboratory. And we are trying to uh, rope in or to collaborate with uh, Microsoft. We have MOU with Microsoft. Uh, we will try to have Microsoft uh, association in this laboratory as well. Then the third laboratory is ARVR laboratory. Uh, there is a great demand of ARVR laboratory and we will develop this. And then recently we have added one thrust area, risk analysis and sustainability. Uh, recently I visited MS Chola in uh, Chennai and they had great interest because uh, sustainability and risk analysis is also a very big issue and associated with this cons theme of the seminar. So MS Chola has uh, agreed to establish a center of excellence for risk analysis and sustainability, uh, providing, uh, uh, doing research as well as providing consultancy. So this is uh, in brief about the Bangalore seminar, Bangalore center. And I am happy to let you know that Government of India gives uh, NIRF ranking, National Institution Ranking Framework every year. So there are different categories and uh, for engineering category, <coughs> last year we were ranked 183 and this year our rank is 79. So there is a jump of 103 uh, steps in one year. Uh, this is, we take pride in uh, this, that uh, this is probably the only institution which could get 103 rank jump in one year. And this is all due to the hard work of faculty, students. Uh, so I have, uh, I s say that our faculties are extremely good doing hard work and the qualification is same as that of IIT. Uh, so. Uh, this is the brief about the institute, but uh, rather I wanted to brief you about the institute, but I am more interested in uh, the deliberation which will take place in these two, two uh, days, 
which will give us future direction for the institute so i am looking for i am sure that the deliberations will be fruitful for us and it will certainly give us some uh, feedback that what future direction the institute should take thank you very much and again i welcome you all thank you thank you very much thank you thank you sir for your visions for rgapt and for this conference so now i like to invite uh, uh, professor gopalan jagdish uh, a distinguished alumnus of uh, isc bangalore and currently he is the senior uh, professor of uh, aerospace engineering department he specializes in the area of hypersonic aero thermodynamics and shock waves and one of the pi pioneer in this area have hundreds of publications in this area so without any further delay i like to request professor gopalan jagdish to welcome us lovely good morning ladies and gentlemen i am very happy to participate in this uh, symposium i think uh, energy is universally today an index of development people are looking at energy consumption as a way of trying to monitor the progress of nations what has happened in the last few years is very interesting especially with the advent of both uh, nde 5.0 and industry 